This is Jethro Jones, and I'm here with uh, three students from the Yurt crew, and I'll have them introduce themselves first. My name is Austin. My name is Ethan. My name is Rosalind. And these students uh, worked on a yurt. So first, what is a yurt? A yurt is like a, a circus tent, and it's we built a traditional one. It's called a Mongolian gur, and it's actually a Russian name, which is kind of surprising because it's Mongolian. But yeah, it's very simple to take apart, put together, and it's just like a circus tent. Okay. And so what made you want to be part of this project? Um, it started last year, and in all honesty, I didn't really know exactly what was happening. But one of my friends pulled me out of my shell and got me to help, and I started to get it. So it, uh, it kind of just, it was not being so alone, I guess, being more talkative. Hmm. Okay, boys, why did you join? I joined because I just thought it would be fun just making one of the biggest projects in Woodshop and building something that I knew a little bit about because when I actually was back in New York, I learned a bit about this because my dad likes to build a lot of stuff. Hmm. Cool. Um, I joined because I thought it would be interesting and I like doing stuff with wood and I like I like to learn stuff while I'm doing stuff as well. And like I learned like how to tie the knots and what make the walls and the roof holes and the roof wheels are called. Cool. What are some other things that you've learned? I've learned how to burn pair cords so that we can tie them and get all the walls together. And he learned how to do it without injury, which is helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I have a scarf on it on my arm from last year. Uh, liquid paracord uh, dripped onto my arm. It was so hot, it dripped onto my arm and uh, burned. So it's right there, and you can kind of still faintly see the. Yep. yep, and so safety is really important, mm -hmm. right? And I know Mr. McGee stresses safety every single day yeah. that you guys do something in woodshop. So mm -hmm. that's good that um, you figured out how to do that without getting hurt. Mm -hmm. um, what were some of the setbacks or challenges that you guys had? Um, so we had uh, the one person who started this, she came in and helped us working and then she quit and that was a little bit of a setback because we were still we were still kind of getting on our feet trying to learn how to stand with it, figure out how it worked exactly. But um, a little after she left, we figured it out and that was a setback, but we overcame it. It was great. Okay. All right. Anything else that you guys want to say before we finish up? No. Okay. Well, thanks again for doing great things for our school and and being able to put your mind to something and accomplish something that um, is a neat objective. So thank you. Mm -hmm.